Hello guys, welcome to today's vlog. So as you guys saw, uh, my mom and I went to Barnes and Noble. We also went to Lowe's to get some flowers. Um, and yeah, so I got some flowers, got some books, and I actually have quite a few books that I have accumulated so far this year. So I really wanted to do a book haul because it's been a minute since I've done one. And yeah, so I just have a bunch of different books. I have like nonfiction, poetry, uh, romance, young adult, middle grade, um, classics, all sorts of different genres that I want to share with you. So first things first, I'm gonna start with some classics. I recently read Little Women and I absolutely fell in love with it. It is, I would say it's in my top three favorite books ever. So recently I have become obsessed with collecting any and every edition of Little Women. So <laughs> I have this one from Barnes & Noble and it has a beautiful pastel purple piano on the cover. And then it has a teapot and a teacup on the back. So this is the one that I read through as I was reading it for the first time. So I do have some highlighted points throughout. And what I love about this is not only the cover, but the fact that this is the floppiest paperback ever. And I used to love hardbacks more than paperbacks, but I don't know. There's something about a floppy paperback that is just so satisfying. And then I also picked up this copy of Little Women from Half Price Books. This is the Scholastic version. I absolutely love this like peachy pink color and the cartoon version of all the sisters. Um, so I have to say, I do relate to all of the sisters on some level, but I relate to Meg March the most. I feel like Meg is my spirit character, no, not spirit character, soul character, um, <laughs> and I don't know, I just really, really relate to her a lot, and let me know in the comments down below which March sister you relate to the most. Okay, next I have Persuasion from Jane Austen. I'm kind of going into this blindly, but I'm really excited to read them for the first time. I also think that this is such a stunning addition. If I see any sort of beautiful pink cover, I'm instantly sold. Um, and then from that same collection, I also got Sense and Sensibility. I love this green. I feel like it's perfect for spring so yeah I'll let you guys know my thoughts on Jane Austen once I get around to them I'm kind of intimidated but we'll see how it goes the last classic I picked up was Heidi and I don't really know too much about Heidi but I've heard really really great things and once again this is just such a beautiful pink cover. This also has gold edges on the pages. Moving in to romance, we have a rom-com called Just Haven't Met You Yet. So this follows the story of a hopeless romantic named Laura and after an embarrassing encounter with the most attractive man she's ever seen in real life, she arrives at her hotel and realizes she's grabbed the wrong suitcase from the airport. Her only consolation is its irresistible contents, each of which intrigues her more and more. The owner of this suitcase is clearly Laura's dream man. Now all she has to do is find him. The next one is You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hoggle. I recently read Twice Shy by Sarah Hoggle and I loved it so much. So I decided to pick this one up and this is about Naomi and her perfect fiance, Nicholas. The only problem is she is utterly sick of him. Naomi wants out, but there's a catch. Whoever ends the engagement will have to foot the non-refundable wedding bill. When Naomi discovers that Nicholas too has been feigning contentment, the two of them go head to head in a battle of pranks, 
sabotage, and all-out emotional warfare. So I've read a lot of enemies to lovers stories, but I've never read one where it was lovers to enemies to lovers. So I'm excited to see how this plays out. Next up is How to Love Your Neighbor by Sophie Sullivan. I recently read this one for the Hello Spring Autumn Readathon that I co-hosted and I picked this one for the pastel cover. I think this is such a cute cover and um, this story was really cute, a very slow burn very wholesome romance. This follows the story of a girl named Grace who is an interior design student and she moves to a beach house and her next door neighbor is named Noah. He is a real estate developer who wants to buy Grace's property but Grace is like refusing to move so they have this enemies to lovers romance blossoming throughout the story and I just love the fact that Grace is an interior design student because I feel like that is something that I would be very interested in learning about. This kind of had an HGTV feel, so if you like to watch HGTV, then I would recommend this. Next up is The Roughest Draft by Emily Wiberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. I think this is their first adult romance story, so I'm really, really excited to read this. I read their young adult story, which was, well, one of their young adult stories. It was called What's Not to Love, and it was so, so cute. So I am very excited for this one. This is about two authors. We have Katrina and Nathan. They had co-written a story together, and it was highly successful. And then they had a falling out, and they never wanted to see each other again but they have another book due on contract. So they have to get together again, work things out personally, and write another story together. It says, while passion and prose push them closer together in the Florida heat, Katrina and Nathan will learn that relationships, like writing, sometimes take a few rough drafts before they get it right. I love books that follow the story of authors. Um, this kind of reminds me of Beach Read, um, but I don't know if it will be anything like Beach Read, but just the fact that they are both authors kind of gives me Beach Read vibes. And moving on to young adult, I recently picked up American Royals, and this is by Katherine McGee. And the reason why I picked this up is because one of you told me over on Instagram that you really really enjoyed this and I feel like it kind of has Princess Diaries vibes and it just sounds like a really cute fluffy read and then the other young adult book I picked up was the Hawthorne Legacy I have already read this as you can see from the page tabs I'm obsessed <laughs> with this book. I'm obsessed with the first book, which is The Inheritance Games. And this is just such a fast-paced mystery. And I love the characters. I love the Hawthorne brothers. And I 1000% recommend. <laughs> so for middle grade, I picked up Frankie and Amelia. And I have to say, this is definitely a cover buy because Look at this beautiful cat on the cover. So this follows the story of a young girl named Amelia and she loves cats but she has a really hard time with people. So her cat is determined to help her out and I just think this sounds really cute. I also just really love stories that explore the relationship between animals and people. So the last category is nonfiction and poetry. So for nonfiction, I picked up Deeper by Dane C. Ortland. This is Real Change for Real Sinners. And I recently read his other book, which is Gentle and Lowly, and it was one of the best books I've ever read. It was so full of wisdom, and I kind of read it like a daily devotional. I like to do um, just a chapter in the morning or before I go to bed at night. So this is about growing in your relationship with Christ 
and I'm a about, I think I'm maybe like 40% through and I am really really enjoying it I have highlighted so many things next up we have poetry this is all along you were blooming by Morgan Harper Nichols so not only does this have beautiful poetry all throughout um, but this also has beautiful artwork and I actually first discovered Morgan through Pinterest and then I found her on Instagram and that eventually led me to buying her book there are four different sections throughout the book you have for the heart what you feel for the mind what you think for the body what you do and for the soul who you are and then last but not least um, this is technically not a book, um, but it was inspired by the book in Taylor Swift's short film, All Too Well. Um, so this is the All Too Well, a novel. Um, so it's actually a notebook, um, but I just love the fact that Taylor Swift came out with merch that was like a bookish item. So it is so beautiful. And underneath the dust jacket, there is gold lettering that says all too well. And then in the very back, it says just between us did the love affair maim you too. I think it's still available on her website. If it is, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, those are the new additions I've added to my book collection recently. Also, since I have kind of gathered a lot more books recently, my bookshelf in the reading room has gotten a little crowded. So um, Harold and I did go to Ikea with my parents and we got a second bookshelf, which I'm so excited for. Um, we put it in the upstairs loft, which I will show you guys. Um, but before I show you, I do have some footage of us at Ikea. So for those of you who are new to my channel, um, this is the bookshelf we have in our reading room. Uh, this is the Calyx bookshelf from Ikea. And I love this one so much that um, I ended up getting the very same one for upstairs. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it is pretty filled out at this point. So I'm excited to have another bookshelf. Um, also, something that I've recently added to the reading room are these little, um, how do you pronounce it? Rattan? Rattan? <laughs> I don't know, but um, these little mirrors. Um, so basically I had my eye on these little mirrors from Urban Outfitters for so long, um, but I found these at Target and they were only $5 a piece. So I feel like they are a perfect dupe for the Urban Outfitters ones. So that's just a little magical touch I've added to the reading room.
So here is our new bookshelf, which is in the upstairs loft. As you can see, it's still very, very empty. It's gonna take a while to fill this one up, but it's nice to have some extra space. In the meantime, I have added my Taylor Swift records to some of the squares just to kind of fill it up. And then we also have these little cat uh, cubbies. I think they're just called cat homes at Ikea. Um, but I thought these were so cute and the cats actually do use them, which I'm very happy about. So I just have one in each corner. Um, so yeah, they really love it. It's just a nice little cozy space for them. Um, and it's really nice to have them here with me when I'm reading in my reading chair. And eventually I will do a bookshelf tour of this particular bookshelf um, but I feel like it's gonna be a while before I do that I feel like it will probably be more towards the end of the year before this is like filled out at least somewhat um, but I'm excited to like decorate it and um, make it look nice and pretty uh, we did get one other thing at Ikea which is a new kitchen light so I'll show you that if you're interested <laughs> I know most of you are probably here for the bookish content but for those of you who like to see home decor, um, this is our new kitchen light and I love it so much. I think it adds a lot of warmth to our kitchen. So yeah, those are all of the bookish updates I have for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!